I want to show one tweet that I think also, you know, because because in that case, it seems sort of like, oh, he was put on the spot. He just hadn't done the preparation before the show. Also, obviously, you know, an incredibly obnoxious person. He... <laughs> so he knows he knows that that's what happened and he just dismisses it. Mm-hmm. He tweeted something earlier in the week, which, you know, obviously he wasn't put on the spot there, which I think just shows how oh. both shallow and reactionary oh, okay. shallow. his philosophy is. Oh, they love to do that fucking class by Jordan Peters. I know it's it's such a it's such a lie. It's a total lie. Would you categorize Jordan Peterson as a reactionary? No. Is Jordan Peterson trying to get women back in the kitchen? Listen, <laughs> Jordan Peterson obviously doesn't care about poor people, mm-hmm. doesn't care about minorities, and doesn't care about women. Mm-hmm. Lies. <laughs> All lies. <laughs> all lies it's it's interesting even in his joe rogan conversation he had this joe rogan was talking about how um you know american workers basically lost all their jobs to like people in china making Mm -hmm. making stuff and jordan pearson was saying that that was bad but on the other hand that lifted you know how many million people out of or billion people Mm -hmm. out of poverty out of Mm -hmm. poverty Mm -hmm. And Joe Rogan was like, well, is there a way to lift people out of poverty that doesn't require them to you know, work in these terrible working conditions? And Joe Rogan is like, we haven't seen it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe, but I don't know what it is. And he, and he even made the argument, maybe it's for the best that we're lifting all these people out of poverty. Maybe he says at the end of the day, in the end run, maybe that will be for the best because you don't want to have a, an entire country of you know a billion starving people. But listen... Mm-hmm. Jordan Pearson's a racist, okay? Yeah. He doesn't care about he doesn't care about others. No, he definitely cares about the no. dispossessed. Yeah. So he tweets, there is simply no such thing as social justice. Whatever those who rely on this cliched phrase are aiming at has nothing whatsoever to do with justice. Justice is mated out at the level of the suffering individual. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. There's no such thing as social justice. Uh, just, yeah. Is that not yeah. true? I don't understand. What's the what's the contention here? Yeah, he's basically saying that, you know, categorizing groups as oppressors or oppressed is meaningless. So, in our enlightened Western democracy, mm-hmm. when you go to court, you are an individual who has suffered a harm and you're trying to receive justice against another individual or a, or like a company or something that's harmed you or even the state that has harmed you. Justice is not merited out on a group level. It's merited out on an individual level, two individuals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't, I'm not sure yeah. where the, the contention is yet. But who is it mated out by? It doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. If, what about unjust laws? How does that fit into that framework? What about an unjust distribution of resources? How would you possibly describe that without mentioning society or the state or the economy? It's sort of bad undergrad. What? Well, he's got a different idea of social justice that he's superimposing onto what was said here. So he's thinking he's thinking social justice is activism like fighting against unjust laws hence why he says mm -hmm. what about unjust laws and whatnot yeah but jordan pearson's saying just jordan pearson's not saying a group Mm -hmm. he would never jordan pearson would never in a million years say a group cannot act as an unjust party against people that's what that's he talks about that constantly that's the nazis that's the soviets yeah, that's the communist. Yeah, there are groups of people, and that's part of you talk about this a lot. How a mob and the mob mentality will get individual people to basically act. Yeah, immoral. Justice is meted out the level of the of the individual, the person who's re, who's receiving the justice mm-hmm. for the wronging is an on individual. He's saying it's, you don't have a group. A group of people do not receive justice. Right. Individuals receive justice. For, for acts against them. He's saying that when the straight white male applies for a job, 
Yes. And and doesn't get it because white people are oppressors <laughs> and have privilege. <laughs> and and uh, in order for us to make up for past injustice against people of color, we need to mm -hmm. we need to implement uh, Ibram X. Kendi style uh, discrimination against other right. individuals. At Positive day. discrimination. Right. right. Yes. This is a, this is re a real thing that Ibram X. Yes. Kendi is, has right. advocated for. Yes. He's saying that that individual who, <laughs> who didn't get the job is going to just walk right. away and say, oh, yeah, that's justice. They might feel that that is the suffering of the individual, though. They might actually feel like that was injustice, right? right? But this guy, I just think it's interesting that this guy turns it around. He he turns around who's the group and who's the individual in the tweet and then says, mm -hmm. well, George Pearson said it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> At the level of the suffering individual. But who is it mated out by? It doesn't make... It doesn't make any sense. If, what about unjust laws? How does that fit into that framework? What about an unjust distribution of results? Uh, yeah, an individual can be the victim of an unjust law. This isn't. <laughs> yeah. How is this confusing? Yeah. But if if you say like, there's no other way for for our current system to work. I mean, you can't say, listen, black people as a group have been suffered unjustly, so we're going to pay black people. Two hundred million dollars. So, well, mm -hmm. what does that mean? There's no. You can't go to the black people group bank account and donate to and put two hundred million dollars in an account. That's yeah, not, that's not how it works. You have to give money or rest or or justice or retribution to individual people. Resources. How would you possibly describe that without mentioning? We'll never win. He has a British accent. Never mind. Society <laughs> or the state or the economy. The laws. How does that fit into that framework? What about an unjust distribution of Resources, how would you possibly describe that without mentioning society or the state or the economy? It's sort of bad undergrad tweeting, isn't it? And, and this is a guy who, who sees himself as an intellectual titan. That was a shtick, Michael, and it's very sellable, right? Who, I mean, where in that tweet was he saying not to mention society? I mean, I... Uh, he said, yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? He just made it up. Yeah, I don't get it. What are you, you're like fighting strom in here. You don't need to care about minorities. You don't need to challenge the political economic <laughs> status quo. Man, this is like so. He's hitting the list. He's got the list. He does, yeah. You don't need to care about minorities. Yeah. How, how, is, how is Jordan Peterson not challenging the status quo? That's literally mm. what he's doing. He's... <laughs> Oh, yeah. He's challenging the woke status quo. His whole career is a whole testament thing. to challenging the status quo. Right. Look at this guy's dumb face look. <laughs> Durr. Durr. I'm a leftist. I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. Right, see it's, right there. That is right there. That's Adam going. Listen, my brain wants to categorize <laughs> leftists socialists, communists, mm -hmm. all as stupid. <laughs> like that's just that's what my brain wants to do. It's like an easy thing to do, right? But it's Adam. All but of that's them true. are stupid. That's true though. I, it's hard. <laughs> it's it's difficult for me to say because I mean you make a compelling <laughs> You make a compelling case. Here, it, there's an easy workaround here, uh -huh. okay? What you just said is true. They all are fucking stupid. Uh-huh. But everyone's fucking stupid. So there you go. There's your no, workaround. No, I, I disagree. I disagree. And well, then I also well, think... You know who think... says that? Mm -hmm. You know who disagrees with that? Mm -hmm. Stupid oh. people. Okay. <laughs> well, I've, I've never... I've never come on our show and tried to yes. pitch myself as the fucking big brain, super intelligent guy. So, well, there like, you go. Proof I'm not, that I'm, I'm not, right. I am not trying to fill that role. Okay. I, I understand my, li my limitations. Uh -huh. I, what I, I just, I feel like this is a religion. I feel like, and I am fully willing to accept that there are like very intelligent people that can believe crazy things, right? There are very intelligent people 
that believe all kinds of conspiracies, right. all kinds well, of right. things. Yeah. Well, you have to. We have to remember mm -hmm. what intelligence evolved mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Intelligence evolved to serve our lower thinking. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So and to very, invite us into groups. Yeah. Right. So it's very easy to fall into a lower thinking, a low resolution group mm -hmm. thought process, if you will. Right. Yeah. And then use your high IQ to then justify all that low resolution thinking. Yeah, exactly. Or to justify axioms that there's no real justification for. No. Right empirical evidence for whatsoever sure. yeah. as long as it satisfies you on some emotional level for some emotional right. reason yeah. they're doing that here right. obviously he's applying all of his iq to justify that jordan peterson just needs a sandwich and that will solve yes. everything tidy your room tidy your room and then of course there's the images of jordan peterson's house looking like a shit show so <laughs> Yeah, the right, the right has had some really impressive, especially the English-speaking right over the last 100, 150 years, has had some really impressive right-wing intellectuals and, and novelists, right? Um, Evelyn Waugh, E.G. Woodhouse, you know, you go back to the 19th century, you've got European figures, you've got Wagner, you've got Nietzsche, smart people. Um, and it says something about conservatism as a political tradition, as an intellectual tradition, that this guy is, is the flame holder for it. <laughs> Um, because it's, it's so bizarre to categorize mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson as the flame holder of conservatives. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even conservative. Yeah. It, it's, he's it's he's funny. come out and, and said he's more conservative recently. Yeah. yeah. He, but he was more conservative in response to where the needle is shifting now. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. We're, we would be more conservative under that debt. If, if you're doing it by like where the needle is shifting, mm -hmm. but he, he's not, he hasn't changed his, I don't think he's changed any of his views from before all the woke shit. I'm trying like hell to conserve li a liberalism, like yeah, freedom, exactly. like individual liberty. I'm trying to conserve it. And I'm it, trying it's so, to. It's so hilarious because on the Joe Rogan thing, he even goes on this whole thing about how, like a lot of, and he t he talked about this a little bit too in, in the thing that we watched with with uh with height, he talked or no it was with Ben Shapiro, where he talks about how, you know, this conservative thinker Jordan Peterson is saying things like, oh, it's very charismatic f for, you know, men to engage in feminine traits, and that's why you see a lot of like rock stars and famous people are, are sort of feminine, and he goes on this whole thing about how. The interesting thing about Walking Phoenix and the Joker is that Walking Phoenix looks hyper masculine in terms of like how his body is structured, but his behavior and movements are feminine. Mm -hmm. And how the combination of these things sort of adds like to the genius of of uh, Walking his acting performance. Really, and then he even talks about how he himself would be considered to have like more feminine traits than sort of typically masculine traits. Yeah. So this is your big conservative, Jordan Pierce. <laughs> Yeah. They like like Jordan Pearson's the second coming of Julius Avola or something. Yeah. That's the mischaracterization that they love. Right.